All right, guys, Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. Yeah, you're looking at a homemade power box that I put together, and we've used this a bunch when we were dispersed camping uh, before I started using the Victor Power Station. The biggest thing we power is the ISCO refrigerator, which is right there and not in use right now. But uh, I set this in the back room so kind of like our sunroom and I have solar panels out back that uh, charge this up and keep it charged for whenever we happen to need it and this is a Juniper 2000 peak 4000 watt continuous inverter and I've got the MPPT solar charger controller there and then I've got USB port or plugs and a 12 volt plug and a gauge there that I can flip with the switch on and off. And there's dual batteries, two batteries in that box that are 200 amp hours total. And uh, in that bag there is a cable that I can plug into my 7 pin that'll actually keep these batteries charged when I'm driving down the road. But like I said, we haven't been using it much, but our power's out. We've had some storms roll through. We had a notification that it's gonna be out for four hours or so. So there's no telling, you know, it could be up next five minutes. It could be up tomorrow. You know, you just never know. But anyway, I brought a cord in. I was watching a YouTube video and it kind of interrupted my videos. And I thought, well, I thought, well, I got this back here. Let's go ahead and just use it. So I've got a cord plugged in. It's going in there to the TV right now. The only thing that this this part is powering is the TV. And then I carried my Victor power station into the office where our uh, internet and computer is. And that's going to power our computer and our internet box. We're on cable and it's still up. So it's powering that, and I took a picture of it. I think it said there it powered that for 14 or 18 hours. I, I don't remember which. So anyway, I mean, I, we can get online. We can use the computer. We can watch TV if we want to. Uh, this is powerful enough. I can run coffee makers, tea kettles, and I could run a small air conditioner unit for a little bit if I wanted to, but it's not hot. And if I was going to run an air conditioner, I'd just pull our generator out. But for watching TV, keeping our phones charged and stuff like that, you know, this is always here and it's always being charged. Uh, you know, when it gets low, I just take the briefcase out there, hook it up and charge this up. And then I, when it's charged, I'll bring the suitcase back in. That way everything's locked up. But uh, I just wanted to make a little video, you know, uh, people kind of, Oh, what do you need solar for? What are you taking all that camping for? And, and some people just don't understand dispersed camping. Or why, that, you know, you want all this power and this heavy stuff to take with you. Because there's two batteries right there. You know, this box is pretty doggone heavy. And it's over 100 some pounds. I figure each battery is about 50 pounds. Uh, and that charge controller is not a lot. But anyway, uh, we've got it. Just uh, something I threw together. It's been working great. I mean, coffee pot. Being able to run coffee pot and stuff like that when the power's out. It's awesome. And I don't have to pull the big old generator out. Don't have to listen to that loud thing run. And uh, I'm actually on this sunroom back here. I, eventually I plan on just kind of making a bigger system here. To where I have a table out here. And, and anytime the electricity goes out, we'll be able to do anything we want to do with our solar. But I just want to throw together a quick little video, you know. These things have multiple purposes, not just when you're out camping. Uh, if it's portable and you can bring it into the house or if you can get close enough to the house where you can use extension cords, this is a lifesaver and power outage. And, of course, think about all our other camping gear, our propane cook stoves and uh, grills and all the stuff that we use when we're dispersed camping in times of power outages or storms, if you're out any length of time, you pretty much are set to where you're going to make it without having to worry too much. But anyway, I uh, yeah, thought I'd just share a quick little video. I know this this isn't pretty, but it works. 
Hope y'all enjoy the video. It gives you a little food for thought. Nice to keep a little solar package handy at all times, I feel. Uh, especially nowadays when you never know when you'll have power surges and blackouts and stuff like that. So, I'm not a prepper, but it doesn't hurt to be prepared. Y'all have a good day.